What's up everybody? It's your boy Jerry Wolf 24 back with another reaction video as usual per usual. You see I got my Saints jersey on, so you already know who played on Thursday night prime time. But it's not like it matter at all. But it's cool. Saints had their first Thursday night game against the Cardinals. We came in two and four, and I think the Cardinals came in three and three. So it's cool to see that little matchup. Um, you know, we already dealing with a lot of injuries on the Saints side. Big two players, Jameis Winston. I mean, he could do good things and bad things, okay? Michael Thomas, he's been sitting out since like last two seasons, and now he out with a little toe injury. Come on, bruh, bruh, all right? And then DeAndre Hopkins. DeAndre Hopkins makes his return to the, to the NFL this season because you know he was on drugs, so they suspended him for like a few games, whatever, you know, niggas wanna do drugs or whatever, and they're not check in and make sure the drug right. It's cool, he back, so it's cool to see DeAndre Copson come back. But like I said, Saints versus Cardinals, and uh, I, I didn't know what to expect, really. I just wanted to see us do something. And let me just tell you, we came in hot. We came in hella hot. Taysom Hill name is ringing all over the NFL right now, but like he hasn't been doing it since he came into the league. Listen. Taysom Hill came into the league maybe like five years ago, somewhere around that time, and he been doing this ever since. So it's nothing new to us Saints fans. We have been seeing Taysom Hill line up as a, as a running back, as a wide receiver, as a quarterback. Shit, he probably played O-line and D-line one time. I wouldn't be surprised if he put, if he put on his, his own cleats and lined up as a safety. Taysom Hill does everything. And we came in good. We came in good. Taysom Hill caught the uh, second, the second touchdown in the first half. He got the second touchdown in the first half, and we was up. We was up. I don't know what the score, but we was up. And then Andy Dalton. Now Andy Dalton, I liked him when he was on the Bengals. He was a pretty solid quarterback, but he never got them anywhere in the playoffs. Joe Barrow comes, takes it to the Super Bowl his second season. Andy Dalton gone. Last season, he was on the Bears, and now he's with us as a backup. Because, you know, James Winston. <sighs> Quarterback situation, we down bad. We down bad. Andy Dalton had three picks in the first half. Three of them. Now, before coming to this game, he only had one interception. One. But he got three in the first half. First interception and the second one. The first one, I think, was on him. The second interception, I'm not going to blame that on him. That was Marquise Callaway. He had like caught the ball. I mean, he had not even dropped it. He like, the ball hit him, something like that. He didn't catch it and the defender caught it and returned for pick six. But guess what? That wasn't the only pick six. In a minute span, we had two pick six. Two of them. In the first half. That's crazy because we came in so hot. And then the halftime score was 28-14. So we was down by two touchdowns already. But we was up. I think we was up 14-3. And then once the pick came in, that's when the momentum switched over. And that's when that's why I was like, God dang. God dang, Andy Dalton. God dang, New Orleans. God dang. I don't know what y'all got going on, but we is going down bad, y'all. I don't know what's going to happen the rest of the season because the rest of the NC South is struggling too. Okay? I think the Falcons are actually on top. It's either the Falcons or the Bucks, but they tie for 3-3. Three three. Then goes us, and then goes the Panthers. So everybody's struggling in NC South. All right? So we got time to make some adjustments. I don't know if if what's his name going to come back. I'm glad Chris or the Olavoe came back. Pretty sure he came back, but I think he left. No, that was Traquan Smith that left. I don't, yeah, Traquan Smith left. I don't know Chris left in the um, game as well. But it's, 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 it's injuries. It's injuries. And we got to tighten up. So going into the second half, nothing nothing else happened. Nothing else happened good for us. Uh, I think I don't even got the score in him. What, what's a good thing is Juwan Johnson. Juwan Johnson, the only one that really came out in the second half. He had two touchdowns. Two touchdowns. Now, a little bit was going to make a comeback. A little bit. We could have. But it didn't happen like that. That wasn't in God's plan. Shout out to Juwan Johnson. Had two touchdowns. Our backup tight end. Because our main tight end injured too. Everybody's injured. I don't know why they don't call me when these injuries happen. Because I will go play. 
But y'all want me doing videos, so I guess that's what I'm gonna do until I get that phone call. So shout out to Juwan Johnson getting two touchdowns, two touchdowns, back up, tight end. And it's crazy because he was looking like a wide receiver out there, really. The crazy thing is he used to play wide receiver back in college. So it makes sense. But that's the only thing that really happened for us. Two touchdowns from Juwan Johnson. And then it looked like we was gonna make a little comeback. On two onside kicks, none of them, none of them, none of them happened. None of them happened. Nobody recovered for us. Cardinals got the ball in both times. Final score. Shit, I ain't oh final score 42-34. So if we would have got one more touchdown, I think we should have got a field goal when there was like a minute left and then tried to onside kick there. And if we would recover, then score the touchdown at that point. But you know, onside kicks, there's like there's not even a 50% chance of that happening. There's like a 15 to 20%. I'll give 15, 20% of your team recovering an onside kick. It is very rare. And we sure didn't get none of them. We had two opportunities and none of them happened. But I like the fight effort we had at the end. It just didn't go out as it didn't go out like how it was supposed to go out. 14, 42 to 34. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. If we would have scored and got a two-point conversion, we would have to OT. Wasn't part of God's plan. But I will say this was a better Thursday night football game than the last two. High score game. We put a little fight up at the end. Now we take an L. We take another L. I think these injuries are really playing with us. And we still trying to figure out our system. Because like I said, we got a new head coach as well. Sean Payton retired as well. We lost Drew Brees. And then we lost Sean Payton. Those were the two big dogs. Now we trying to figure out what to do. Alvin Kamara not looking like the same Alvin Kamara that we saw in the rookie season, which I get, but dang, bruh, bruh. You gotta get at least one game that's explosive so we can get that mojo going. I think Mark Ingram out, Michael Thomas out, James out. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Why I haven't got the phone call yet? I've been, I've been, brr, 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 I've been waiting. My phone is always, I, have, I got two phones, two phones. Ain't no way the Saints haven't reached me yet, man. I've been I'm, I'm complaining about my Saints. Cardinals, Cardinals looking uh good. The, 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 they um their conference or division as well is tough race as well. But I'm saying we in week six right now. So now I'm training really for the road for the NFL season. Now everybody is um everybody knows what's going on now. You feel what I'm saying? Week six, now everybody knows what's going on now. Cardinals got their, uh, they got DeAndre Hopkins back. I didn't see much of Marquise Brown out there. I don't know what was up with that. Is he injured or something? I didn't see him out there, really. The running back, Ingram, because Jane Carter was out of well. Then Ingram, he was snapping, he was snapping. Kyle Pitts, Kyle Pitts, Kyle Murray, he looked like a little kid every time he run out on the field. I swear to God, he hold the ball like this and just... He, he has his hands like this every time. He don't look like a kid when he run out there. But I'm not shouting out the Cardinals. Fuck the Cardinals, man. And fuck this too. I'm not throwing this jersey back on. I'm not. What's the point? I don't even know who we play next. But I'll tell you what. I, I don't have high hopes. I don't. I have hopes. But it's not high. It's not high enough. My hopes should be up here. It's not that high. It's down here. Let the kid together, yeah, man. We got to get it together. Final score. 42-34. But next Thursday, we got the Ravens versus Bucks. So that should be interesting. See Lamar Jackson. And then Tom Brady. Dang, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to open my next Thursday. Nothing. I'm going to be watching that game. So you know what I'm saying. Make sure you subscribe and like to the channel so you can be ready when I drop these reaction videos. Because I do appreciate y'all being here. But I also got another YouTube channel, Jerry World 24 I got comedy skits dropping on that channel. Got like... I dropped two and I dropped one today, so make sure y'all go check that out as well. But I do appreciate y'all being here as usual.